in my previous video, I showed you six candlestick patterns that you can use to know that there is a reversal that is about to occur. But in that video, I told you that you don't just go in when you see these candlestick patterns. Okay, there is something you need. You need to see these candlestick patterns, these six candlestick patterns that you are seeing at specific points. So today I'm going to show you those specific points where if you see these candlestick patterns, you can go in confidently and enter for a trade, okay? So in this video, I will show you each of the levels, which are these ones that I am pointing out, okay? If you stay with me in this video, because it may be lengthy, but you are surely going to benefit from it. So we are going to check at each level. And then when we are picking one level, such as this at Fibonacci levels, we will check if we will get an engulfing candlestick around there before the reversal or an evening star or a morning star or a hammer plus engulfing or a tweezer top or tweezer bottoms. So even if you have not gone back to this video of which I will advise you to go and watch about candlestick patterns, reversal candlestick patterns. So go and watch the video. It will pop up on your screen right now. You can click on it at the top right hand on YouTube and you can watch it, okay? You will start with Fibonacci levels and then trend lines and then previous highs or lows when taken out. When the previous highs or lows are taken out, you can check if you will see any of these reversal candlesticks. And then even at points where indicators are confirming to you that a reversal should occur. So when an indicator is telling you a reversal should occur, check if there is any reversal pattern that you can see around that point before going in for a trade. Don't just go in blindly simply because an indicator is telling you there should be a reversal. The candlesticks too should show you a pattern that there should be a reversal, which means you have two confirmations for reversals before you go in, okay? So I will tell you all about these things in this video. So let's head over and see where we can begin to check for reversal patterns. I want to show you where I'm spotting one. If you observe this chart, you have a previous low here that has not been taken out. Taking out means the price comes to take out the money that is here because there are some people that started buying around here and they expect it to go very high and they could not go out. So there are stop loss that they will put here. If they place their stop losses here, it means when price comes and hit them, it has taken them out. When price has taken them out, it means liquidity has been grabbed. If you are a beginner, I believe you must have been hearing about liquidity. So it means it has been grabbed, the money that is here. That is when the market will now have power to go up and also take the money that is also up here. So when it clears the low that is here, it goes to take the previous high that is here as well. And that is exactly what happened here. So price reached this point and then came back and took out this low that is here. You can see if you are to draw a line, if you are to draw a line from here to here, you can see it. Price came, took out the low that is here. Once it has taken it out, it began moving up. And once it moves up, it must also clear the previous high as well. So when you, you can see, it came and it cleared this previous high with this before moving downward again. That is how the Forex market works, okay? A previous high has to be cleared. Even if it becomes so close like this one and it starts going down, just know that equal highs have to be cleared as well. So there must be another reversal to come and clear this before going downward, okay? That is a strategy you should know about trading. So that is why I said you should check for these reversal patterns at previous 
lows and previous highs when they are cleared. So when a previous high is cleared, check for the patterns that I showed you about the candlestick pattern. So this low has been cleared. This is the part that cleared the low. Let's look for the candlestick patterns that I showed you guys in that video. Okay, that's why I told you it's important, okay? If you are enjoying this video, subscribe, click, share it for it to what, get more views. That way it encourages me in order to what, post more, okay? So you can see we have tweezer bottoms. So at the moment, a previous low was cleared. We now have a tweezer bottom, which means they have equal lows. Two candles having equal lows telling you price cannot go further below here. There's a resistance preventing it from going further below. That's why they are having the same point, returning at the same point. So it has to tell you at the side of this, the moment you see that price has cleared this other part, you could have entered here. So it means if you were going into this trade, you can enter here and then put your stop loss below this previous low point. And then you will aim for one to ratio, two or three or four, depending on how long you want to hold the trade. Or sometimes till you see a reversal pattern again at the top. If you can't see a reversal pattern, you leave it. Okay. Now, if I were the one, I would have held the trade till it reaches here. Which means, why am I saying till it reaches here? Till I see another reversal pattern. Why? Because a previous high has been cleared by this candle. This long week that you are seeing, it cleared it and melted back. What happened? Is there any reversal pattern that we can see? Yes, there's a tweezer word top here. After this has been cleared, there's another word tweezer top. See them here. Candles, candles having equal tops. Two candles having equal tops. So this bearish one telling you we're about to push one down again. So upon seeing this reversal pattern after the previous high, of which is this high after the previous high has been cleared. So after this high has been cleared and I see this user top, I will exit this trade. Okay, I will exit and then enter again for the sell. You will enter for the sell above that candle that grabbed the liquidity. You enter and then you will what? You will ride it along, maybe one to three point something. That is how to identify. Now, we have checked for previous lows and for previous highs. So a previous low was cleared. A previous low was cleared around here. And we saw that we found out this word, a tweezer, a tweezer bottom here. So it's a clear sign of what? A reversal pattern. I will enter upon the close. In fact, you can even enter the closure of this. If you have the psychology and you are willing to reach the amount, you enter the closure of this second candle that form the tweezer button. You enter, and by that, you can have more profit. Okay? You see, risk to reward ratio will be 1 to 7. So it means if you are risking $10, you get 70. If you are risking 100, you get 700. Okay? That is how to what to check for previous low being cleared. So this previous low being cleared, it cleared it and it gave us a tweezer button. You will enter and write it to clear this previous high. When it clears the previous high, immediately you see another reversal pattern, which is a tweezer word top. You enter again and come. And this is how you will make profit in Forex. Because these things I am telling you, you pay others to teach you the same thing. Simply click share, okay, if you are enjoying it. Remember, you can join my Telegram channel where you can ask questions regarding anything in Forex and I can make videos for you. Check the link in the description box. Now, let's go to the next one and see at Fibonacci levels. So, 
for the next point that you check is our Fibonacci levels. So I'm not making a video about Fibonacci. That will be in another different um, video. So you subscribe and you get more of these things. At this point, it uses trends. So we can see that price went from this point, it went up to a high point like this and retraced back and continued the movement to another point like this and retraced back, okay? So what I want to check right now is at what point will I enter at Fibonacci level? It means you start the tracing here, click, to the next high before the retracement. You see this 0.618 and 0.5. Between 0.5 and 0.618 is known as the golden zone. So this part here that is light blue in color is known as what? The golden zone. Why is it the golden zone? Most traders take their trades around this point, okay? So it means if I'm to stretch this for you to see the point, at this 0.618, I mostly take my trade. Most traders prefer 0.618 because you have a discount, which means you are buying at a very low price. In fact, some may wonder that till it comes down to a very low point here, of which sometimes the market may not give you that. Okay, so most times, most traders go in here. Now, if I see a reversal pattern around here, I will go in. Yeah. But one thing with Fibonacci is that, and market structure, when you are using it, is that your stop loss has to be very wide, which means if you enter this trade at 0.618, your stop loss should be below the, the previous low, which will be here, making it very wide. Okay? So it means if you were to enter this trade at around this level, it means your stop loss will be here, below here, which will make it very wide. Now, the candlestick patterns around this place, this 0.618, will help you to know what you need to do, okay? And that is what I'm showing you right now. If we trace that to the next high before retracing downward, we can see that. Let's enlarge this point to see what candlestick pattern is around here. So you can see, is that our previous word? Let me shift it. So it is the previous tweezer bottom that is there. So if we had seen any long engulfing candle, it means we can still enter this trade because something is happening around the point six one eight. Okay? So if we had seen to make this thing clearer for you, I'm going to delete this other thing. So if we had seen this type of candlestick, this long engulfing candlestick, look at it, an engulfing candlestick around this point, we would have still entered. It must not be this bottom. Or we had seen a morning star, something like this, something like this point here. Remember, in the previous video, I showed you something like this we would have still entered. So any reversal pattern that is a bullish reversal pattern that you had seen around here, you would have entered because it has reached a significant point, which is a Fibonacci word level. That's one. I will talk more about Fibonacci's when and show you how to use it to make profit in Forex. Let's see the next significant point for you to check. Trend lines, okay? Trend lines. For trend lines, you need two points. Connecting two points, then you extrapolate the trend line for you to know the next third point that you will be looking out for. That's what trend line is all about, okay? Now, what am I saying? You have a trend line tool here. You click on it. This is a low point. I'll connect it to another low point because we are in an uptrend currently. And then I'll connect it to another word, low point again. Again. So one point, two points. So you uh, let's assume that at the time that this thing touched and it cleared this point, 
you now extrapolate without knowing that this part has been formed. Okay, so you are waiting for the third touch of the train line. The moment it touches it the third time, you will look for any reversal pattern around that point. Now go in here, look for a reversal pattern. What reversal pattern can you see around the third touch? There is an engulfing candle, a very long engulfing candle. You can see it. So because of that, you can go in here because so you expect it also to work to move up. Now you see if I extend this to this point, if I had seen one engulfing candle around here, I would have entered as well. But there is none, it broke past. It broke and passed this line. Okay. So what does that tell you? It is simply telling you that there is no reversal pattern here. So there is no need of you entering for this thread. It's as simple as that. The next one is to check points of indicators telling you that something is going on. So I'm going to use the RSI indicator to show you guys something. RSI indicator. So there are other indicators that you can use, like the, you can use other indicators like the MACD or the MACD indicator, or you can use the simple moving averages, or you can use exponential moving averages, okay? But the one I want to show you now is RSI divergence. If price is coming down, you expect the RSI to be looking at this blue line that you are seeing, be looking at the blue line, okay? So this previous low is reflected by the RSI point that is also low. Then another low was formed that was lower than this previous point. You can see it, which point corresponded with it. This point corresponded with it on the RSI, which means it's lower still. So this point, another form point was formed lower than it. Even the RSI to obey that one, one point was formed, and this one was formed lower than the previous one. Another one was formed lower again. This point is lower than this previous point that we checked now. And the RSI obeyed it again. It formed a lower point lower than this. However, when this low point was formed lower than this previous one, instead of the RSI obeying it, it rather formed a higher point. So you can see this low, this low now is higher up than the previous one. Whereas this one on the graph, on the chart, is low, then a lower low was formed. So more lows were formed, another lower point. So instead of the RSI to obey it to form for this particular one, to form a lower point, it is instead forming a higher point. This is it. This is what is known as RSI divergence. So upon seeing RSI divergence, and you see this point now, you take note of it to check for any reversal pattern that you see around that point. And I'm giving you example, you can go over this chart and you begin to see these things manifesting on the chart, okay? All these things that I am telling you. So why am I saying that? Look at this. There is a tweezer bottom around that point. So you take your entry, around that point after the formation of that tweezer button here because there's RSI divergence around that point, okay? That is what RSI divergence strategy is in Forex. You can use it to make profit if you know what you are doing. So that is that about how to make use of reversal candlestick patterns at specific points of interest. They call it POIs, point of interest, okay? So you check at points of interest before checking for your reversal patterns. So always check for a point of interest and then you will wait at that part to check for any reversal pattern that you will see around that point, okay? So if you have any question, let me know in the comment section.
that is all about how to apply candlestick patterns and point of interest for you to know entry and exit point okay and it's as simple as that thank you for viewing see you next time bye